Welcome to my loan calculation system developed using Eclipse. So let's say the interest rate for this loan is about 3.4 and the amount of year to clear up the loan is about 5 years. Loan let's say is 35,000 pounds. All you need to do is calculate it and that's it. That's your monthly payment and that's the overall payment okay and you can also generate the receipts and you can reset and get the other guy to enter their details there and in here let's go for five years amount of loan 45,000 calculate the loan generate the receipt and you can exit if you want if you choose not to there so with that let me take you guys straight into Eclipse development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now hi and welcome to loan management system that will be developed using Eclipse I'm gonna start by clicking on OK alright the application is ready let's click on file new project select Java project and let's give it a name I'm just gonna call it loan underscore system there let's copy that you can always use it click on finish now we wait for the okay let's check out the package here explorer package right click on the loan system go to new and scroll right down to object inside the object we would like to select this very folder window builder drop it down let's select swing builder click drop down swing builder and then select application window click on next and let's give that a package name and a name so the package name will be loan system and the package will be loan underscore systems finish now our application is ready and right here you will see the source code this is the source code page and here click on that click on the design and you should see the interface right there now let's right click on it and select the property okay the property is right here in a way so that's fine so let's drop this down and select the property for it the property I would like to select would be absolute layer this very one here so that I can have full control now that that is ready I like to set my applications size code right inside the code here I'm going to change that to 1370 by 700 there and here I'm going to change those to zero and this one to zero as well so if we come back to design here that's the size of my phone can you guys see it so if I run it it will start from here which is zero zero so let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about right there okay that's looking good close that now let's add some frames I think I should be able to get that in here so let's minimize this and open up the palette we have my tools here entire framework there okay that's all uh, now we can always select the property of that and just enhance it and go ahead so that is the frame of the panel Okay, right inside the panel let's look for let's look for the border there we go and drop that down I'm gonna select bevel border and change that to lowered click on OK, okay. let's see that again bevel border here. Lord, click OK. 
Okay. Now you see that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to copy this because I need one more of those. So you put that right at the bottom somewhere. Okay, I'm going to enter the following. Let's enter a label here. And inside that label, I'm going to change that to enter interest rate. that would be let's enter eg 4.5 okay now I will enter also enter the next label and let's change that to Enter number of years. Enter number of years. So let's say EG four years. The next one is going to be enter amount of loan. The monthly interest or um, monthly payment and finally total payment Okay, let's select these three, uh, these five and uh, labels and just let's increase the font. We are good for about, let's see, let's say 30. Okay, this is how it looks. Let me add one more label here. That will be for my header and we need text field okay we need some buttons so let's just call that okay and another one that will be my reset button reset calculator so reset calculator and finally Let's call this exit calculator. Yeah, just need to correct that spell. Up here, let's change this to. Let's move it here and just change the content to. All right. And increase the font size. Make it bold. Let's go for maybe 60 and see okay this is how it's looking i've actually given all of these components their names as txc amount of loan and this one is txc total payment txc monthly payments and let's come into the exit double click on the exit and here i'm going to enter the following lines of code for exit so you see that so What's happening is we need to import that so I'm gonna click on here and let's import J option plan plane there that is done and up, up here you also need to declare this frame relay so I have it somewhere here there we go alright and that's the swing option plane right there so let's come back to the design view here we're gonna have to reset all of these so we need their names so to reset 
let's get the name of that copy that and just double click on that come right down here paste that so we're going to say sets text to no value okay just select it that's it and there as the first one done and the second one if we know the name of the second one all we need to do is maybe where there they are you can always just copy them here and the second one number of years i'm gonna copy that and just paste it there right here paste and copy all of this and paste it on there done and we have the first second the third one and just copy it and paste as well copy that and paste that as well I'm actually doing it this way so that I don't make any mistake. Right. Getting the right name. And finally, TXT to the payment. And that is for the reset. There. Okay, we have the lines of code for the reset so let's come back to the design let's take care of loan calculator first double click on that and right here okay and right here i have the loan calculator itself have a good look at that so there's a variable declare here that taking the interest then that is then divided by 1200 right here and then here taking the number of years in integer or as integer then the total amount of loan loan amount then right here loan amount multiplied by monthly interest rate to work out the monthly payment that is a right there and so on okay so what I'll do now is let's give it a run and see let's just give it a try and see what will happen five years and then let's see five years the amount of loan let's say 45,000 plus there so finally the monthly payment for five years is that and right here you'll be total you'll be paying 49,000 plus okay clear and exits there I think finally we need to take care of this generate receipts okay double click on the receipt and right here from here down here those are the lines of code for the receipts have a good look at it up to here from here okay take it from the top and down here those are the lines of code for the receipts and that's all there is to it okay so let me show you all of the codes again loan cap calculator code that's it now generate receipt from here down here okay those are the lines of code for the receipt now reset that is my reset there then exit that's the line of code for exit so let's run it one more time and call it the end of this program so I'm gonna go for interest rate of about three points 
two. How many years payment? Five. Loan you intend to borrow. Let's make that thirty-five thousand. Hit on calculate and generate receipt. There, guys. So with that, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you all enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.